Hey guys, it's Josh here at Porter Valley Ranch. Today we are talking about lamb nursing problems. So if you're wondering about the weird camera angle today, it is because I am currently holding one of our ewes named Duchess down. Uh, a headlock would be a bit aggressive, but I've got her pinned down so that her twin lambs, they're actually little ram, ram lambs, can nurse. So Duchess here is a baby doll ewe. Um, this is our first time having lambs with her, but we know it's not her first time having lambs. It's just the first time she's had them on our farm. The lambs were born just fine. They were healthy, they were cleaned off, but we were out of the country when they were born. We were actually on an airplane on the way home and she did not want to nurse them. Now there are a couple different reasons as to why a ewe wouldn't want her lambs to nurse. So the first thing you need to do is check and make sure there's not any problems, any inflammation, anything like that. But the most common thing that we've run into is basically like a postpartum depression sort of disorder. Uh, for some reason their hormones get out of whack and they just reject the lamb. So whenever they reject the lambs, hopefully, they're past the birthing process. Hopefully the lambs are able to get around on their own. Hopefully they've been cleaned off, all the afterbirth cleaned off of them. If not, you're gonna need to intervene on that. But these two were born, she cleaned them off, and then she simply doesn't want to stand while they are nursing. So in the past, what we would have done is pulled these off and bottle fed them. But since we were out of the country, we didn't have that option. We have also since learned that that is not always the best option. It's not the best option for the lambs because if they nurse off of the ewe, that gives them the best chance of survival. It gives them the best source of nutrition. So we want to get these two nursing off of their mom. And what that means is we're just gonna have to hold her down a couple times a day and hopefully she gives in. Hopefully her hormones get back in balance and she starts letting them nurse naturally. Some people would tie her up uh, some people would put them in a chute so that the lambs could have access without her running away or without her hurting the lambs. But we're trying to be um, the least amount of aggressive as possible. So I'm just kind of gently holding her while these lambs get their nutrition and hopefully she starts standing. I'll kind of start releasing a little bit of pressure each time we come up here with her, and hopefully she starts standing on her own. Now, obviously, if she doesn't start standing on her own, then we will have to do something different. But we're gonna give this a couple of days and see if we can get them where they're nursing, where they're healthy, and where she understands that that's her job and she allows it to happen. Another thing I'm gonna do while I'm up here is I'm gonna clip these umbilical cords. Usually I like to clip the umbilical cords pretty quick after birth, but since these guys were born while we were gone, we're gonna go ahead and do it now. The umbilical cord can be left pretty long. It can sometimes get on the ground, and that's an easy way for these little lambs to pick up tetanus and other problem bacteria. So to clip the umbilical cord, you're gonna take some hand sanitizer or some alcohol and clean a pair of scissors or fingernail clippers. You're gonna find the umbilical cord. If it's dirty around it, you're gonna clean it with the alcohol. You're gonna clip it off pretty close to the body, leaving about a quarter to a half inch. Then you're gonna get your iodine. I like to put it on a paper towel just so it doesn't get so messy and then rub that on what's left of the umbilical cord just to make sure you clean any bacteria off. You're gonna to wanna to wear gloves because if you've never used iodine, or triodine as we have here, it will stain anything that it touches. And that's it. All right, a few hours later, we came up here to the barn to check on the lambs, the little ram lambs and Duchess the ewe. And it appears that she is standing for them now. Uh, she's letting them nurse. She is not pushing them away. She's still, you know, obviously interested, cleaning them off, doing all the things that a mother should. So that's really encouraging. Uh, the battle's not over. We're gonna have to still keep checking on them every few hours to make sure that she is allowing them to nurse, 
and hopefully we don't have to hold her down anymore. Hopefully we don't have to supplement them anymore because it appears she's doing her job, but our job isn't over because our job is to just keep making sure. We already lost a couple lambs this year. If you saw our video about the little triplets that were born, um, unfortunately none of them made it, including little Seuss, who was the little one, um, the little ram that we were bottle feeding. Um, he just didn't make it. And now that we've had other baby dolls, we realize that they are, they were significantly smaller, uh, which was my fear that they were premature. They just weren't developed all the way yet. And now that these were born, uh, these are a lot bigger than the little triplets were. So after losing three, that's a huge financial hit to our farm, about a $2,100 hit, um, that we could have sold those lambs for. So we want to make sure that all the rest of the lambs on our farm are healthy. Um, not just because of the monetary value, but because we are in charge of living creatures and we want to do the best job that we can for them and in turn for our farm. So we're going to keep checking out on these little guys. Uh, we're going to watch them over the next few days. We've got quite a few lambs that are going to be born here in the next week. So check back in with Border Valley Ranch. Make sure and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We post a lot of pictures over there. Way more pictures than we do videos because those are a lot easier. So check back in. Thanks for joining us on these adventures. We'll see you on the next one.